Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Kirby's house. So here are all of the materials that you will need to build Kirby's house. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. So the first thing that we have to do when building Kirby's house is we have to start off by placing three block of quartz on top of each other. One, two, three. Place a sideways facing quartz stairs on top, and then a block of quartz to the right. Place a sideways facing quartz stairs on top, and then five block of quartz going right. One, two, three, four, five. Place a quartz stair on the end, a block of quartz underneath, a quartz stair on the end, and place block of quartz extending down to the ground. In front of this, we want to, starting on the left side again, in front of and to the right of the first block of quartz, we want to place three, one, two, three, block of quartz extending up from the ground, quartz stairs on top, block of quartz to the right, quartz slab on top, extend the quartz slab to the right by four, one, two, three, four, place a block of quartz underneath, quartz stairs going right, and then block of quartz extending down, like this. In addition to this, I also want you to place quartz slabs on top of the initial row of five block of quartz that we placed, just like this. In front of and to the right of the block of quartz that started this off, I want you to place two block of quartz on top of each other. One, two. I then want you to place a sideways facing quartz stairs, a block of quartz to the right, a quartz slab on top, extend it to the right by two, one, two. I then want you to place a block of quartz underneath, a quartz stair to the right, and join down, like this. You will notice that you have a little bit of gapage behind this. You can fill this in using block of quartz. There we go, that's much better. What we then want to do in front of the space is quite simple. In front of, in, in the middle of the empty space in front of us, place an oak door. Place two oak planks left and right of the door. Place sideways facing oak wood stairs left and right on top of the oak planks. Join them together with oak planks in the middle. Place a birch button to the right of the upper side of the door here. And once you've done that, we can work our way to the back of the build. So, when it comes to the back of the build, we have a few things to do. We have to extend the entire side of the build backwards by four rows. So, one, two, three, four. And what I mean by that is the entire side of the build, literally all of the blocks that you can kind of like see in front of us, all of the block of quartz, all of the slabs, all of the quartz stairs, all wants to get extended backwards by the same amount, which is going to be four rows in total. And we do want to do every single block. Like sometimes it's possible in builds that you don't have to extend every block. Like sometimes you can leave a few blocks. But in this particular case, we're going to extend back every single one of them. So all of these stairs, all of these slabs, everything. Just like this. And on the back of the build, we basically just have to build up a bit of the shape again. So on the back of the build, we're going to start from in front of the bottom left-hand side here. We want to place a block of quartz in front of and to the right. And we want to extend that block of quartz upwards by two. So one, two. Place a sideways facing quartz stairs on top. And then place five block of quartz going right. So one, two, three, four, five place a quartz stairs on the end, and then extend it all the way down to the ground, just like this. Then in front of, where we started on the left side here, in front of and to the right, we want to place two block of quartz on top of each other, a quartz stairs on top facing sideways, block of quartz to the right, quartz slab on top, go right by two, place a block of quartz underneath, quartz stairs to the right, join down. Fill in the back of the house using block of quartz. Fill in these little gaps here using block of quartz as well. You'll be able to see them behind the stairs. Add a row of quartz slabs on top of the quartz block that we have just a little bit higher up. 
And that is most of the house, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a couple of details to add, though. So first of all, the house itself actually has a chimney. The chimney is very simple to add. It is placed on the left side of the build. I want you to come down to the second row of... Well, it's, it's basically the first row of quarter stairs from the top of the build, so here. And you want to move one row inwards. So on the back, come down to the first row of stairs, move inwards, destroy two stairs, replace them with spruce planks, destroy the slabs just up above, place spruce planks, and extend them across to make a little square. Add another row of spruce planks on top, and then place quartz slab on top of the planks. So we want to have something which should look like this, and that is just a nice, basic, simple little chimney. On the right side of the build, we have to have a window. The window is very simple to make as well. We basically want to take out the three middle blocks of quartz on the right side of the build. We want to take the three middle blocks out, the row underneath them. We want to place oak planks on the left and right sides. Fill the middle in using glass pane. And what we then want to do, I don't think we'll be needing any of these materials again, but sorry if we do. We need these spruce trap doors, oak signs, grass, spruce wood, green concrete, yellow concrete, birch fence, and the any sort of shovel will do. And we're going to place a spruce trap door, a row of spruce trap doors underneath the window to make a windowsill like this. We want to create a little grass path leading from the door. Like, it's a little bit curvy in nature, so maybe extend like two blocks in front of the door, then like left, forward two, right, and then forward one. Something like that will do just fine. Right of the door, there is specifically, like right and in front of the door, there is a sign, and then there is a little bit of grass in front of it, oddly enough. We're being very specific. Um, there is also a tree. The tree is somewhere out of the back right side of the house. So if we take the very like back, if you take a look at the house, it kind of has like a corner here. So if we move out from this corner like one, two, so kind of like if we're like one, two blocks away, and we place a two by two square of spruce wood on the ground like this, and we extend it upwards by three rows, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, something like that will do uh, just fine. And what we then want to do is we want to place green concrete on top. We want to extend the green concrete to the right one, up, right, up by three, and then left, up, left by three, down, left, down by three, right, down. So this is the sort of shape that we're after. Uh, we want to make this on the back of the tree as well. It wants to be the exact same. So kind of a circular shape, really, just like this. What we then want to do is we want to take this shape and we want to place green concrete in front of this empty space. So just the empty space. We don't really want to place it anywhere else. We just kind of want to have something which should look like this. And then we want to take the middle of this, which is just a 2x2 two two square, and we want to extend it towards us. So, just like that. And we want to do this on both sides. So, on the front and the back, we just want to take the empty space, we want to fill it in, and then we want to extend out the 2x2 two two square that is in the middle of the tree, and it will just look a little something like this. The tree has yellow berries in it, or some sort of yellow fruit, so all you're going to want to do is take out every so of a green concrete block, take it out, and place some yellow in there instead. You don't have to be specific, it's not a particular block of any kind, really just make it so that there's a little bit yellow in there and you should be good. There's also a fence. The fence is going to lead from the right side of the tree here. It's going to lead forwards and it'll probably stop about where the sign is. So all in all, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, that is Kirby's house. He has a very simple abode. He is a humble pink blob creature and th this is it. There's no more to it. So this is what Kirby's house will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. It is a very simple build, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you have managed to make it no problems, but it is definitely iconic in the fact that it is Kirby's home. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Click that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. 
And if you want to make anything else by me, check out the card system in the description below in the top of the comment section for more. I make loads of stuff, statues, stuff that's big, stuff that's small, weird stuff, you guys name it, I have... I, I build lots of weird stuff. Thank you so much for watching, I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.